How's it going guys? Today we are going to be going over the difference between spikes and waxies. Now these two live baits have been an ice fishing staples for many years and there's always been a debate among ice fishermen which one is best. Let's get into the details which one of these is better for which application for which fish and hopefully this will help you decide which one to bring out on your next trip. Alright so first of all what are spikes and what are waxies? Well spikes are maggots simple as that. They're the same maggots that you'd find on a carcass on a dead deer on the side of the road in the middle of summer, all those little white things crawling all over it. They're actually really clean. Maggots are known for being almost antimicrobial uh, just because they have to live in such harsh environments. So the actual bugs themselves, these are larvae of the bottle fly, they are not dirty at all. And they make excellent bait. And that's where they come from, they're fly larvae. So waxworms on the other hand, completely different. They are the larva of the bee moth, which is a moth that lays its eggs in beehives. That's why they're called waxworms because of the bee wax that they would often be found in. So they're both grown commercially uh, and they're not collected in the wild. They're grown commercially, so they're sustainable bait, but they're very different and they have different properties. So let's start with spikes. We'll go into the, the ups and downs and pros and cons of spikes and then we'll get into the waxies. So I'm actually gonna put a couple of spikes on my jig right now and uh, see if we can't maybe catch a fish here. But the spike is a much tougher live bait than the waxy. So it's a, it tends to stay on the hook a lot better and I like to hook them right through the blunt end right there. And I oftentimes hook two of them on. And you can see they're actually wiggling pretty good when you first put them on there, but that won't last very long. On your first drop, you might see some wiggling, but uh, as far as that lasting, it really isn't a factor once you get it down there and they're in the water for very long, they stop wiggling pretty fast. One of the reasons I'm using spikes here in this particular spot is because spikes tend to hold on to the hook much, much better. They're much tougher bait and you can drop them down there and fish them 30 feet down without worrying about whether they got picked off and having to reel them up every time you get a bite. So that makes a big difference some days when you're when you're trying to save time and trying to fish efficiently. Uh, spikes are really, really tough and that makes a big difference. Here comes a fish right now. There, I got him. So if you miss that fish, uh, with waxies, it's very likely he picked, you, he picked them off and you're gonna have to reel up and rebate. And um, you just don't have to do that as often with these spikes. And there we go. Nice crappie. Nothing wrong with that at all. Just hooked him right in the top of the mouth there. And he had no hesitation with that live bait on there. When he saw that, he just came up and ate it. So now one of the advantages to spikes is you can dye them. You can dye them green, blue, red, and a red spike is one of my favorite live baits to use. Uh, you can't dye waxies very well. So they feed them meat that's full, full of dye. And that basically dyes the, the spikes themselves. Uh, whatever color dye they're feeding them. So one of the disadvantages of spikes is if you don't keep them refrigerated and you forget to take them out of your pocket, they will turn into flies within a day or two. You'll see them turn into little hard cocoons that are absolutely worthless for bait and then they'll actually turn into flies right in the container if you leave them long enough. So waxies will not do that. If you leave waxies warm, they're just going to stay in their form that they're at in for a long time. So you don't have to worry about that as much with wax worms. Another disadvantage to spikes is they just don't have much shape to them and they're not very long. So if you want a nice flowy action to your bait, they're not really going to give you that as much as a waxy will. A waxy just has a better action to it than a spike. All right, let's hook a waxy on. So that's a wax worm. You can see it's a little bit lighter colored, a little bit longer, and it's got a little bit uh, more supple body to it and that may be a little more attractive to a fish as far as how much it wiggles in the water uh, it's got basically more attracting qualities right away off the bat so that is kind of an advantage of wax worms so where I've found that wax worms really shine is late season and early season panfish in the weeds and you can often see your bait so you're sight fishing sometimes and that bigger whiter profile uh, shows up really well when you're sight fishing it does seem to have a little bit more wiggle to it and tend to attract those fish. Uh, and you can always tell pretty easily if it falls off the hook, either on your flasher 
you know you can see it on the sonar or if you're sight fishing you can see it come off so you can replace it you don't have to worry about it coming off in deep water and fishing with no bait for a while so that's kind of the biggest uh, advantage and scenario that I like to use for wax worms now as far as fish actually eating them I have not seen a difference between the actual attractive nature of the flavor of a spike and a waxy I think they're pretty much the same as far as that goes I really don't think that fish prefer one taste to the other but the action can definitely make a difference on some days the, the waxies have a little bit longer body and they tend to have that more flowy kind of uh, wiggly action to them now as far as species go uh, trout I will almost always use waxies I think there's something about waxies that trout really like uh, crappies and pan and bluegills and perch all will eat either one just depends on where you're fishing how you're fishing uh, if I'm fishing walleyes or bass I do sometimes like to tip like the treble hook on a glide bait with waxies just to make that uh, bottom hook a little bit more attractive so that's pretty much it that's the big difference you guys will they both work certainly if I had to pick just one between wax worms and spikes for me it spikes all day long just because of the the ease of use uh, the, the fact that they stay on the hook better and I can use them in all situations without worrying about them coming off So my vote goes to spikes, but I certainly use waxies and oftentimes I carry both Go pick some up try them out see what works best for you uh, And good luck out there catch you later get hooked up